Hello folks, this is Jamil Swift for Gunstock Reviews. We're here at C2 Tactical in Scottsdale, Arizona, our favorite indoor facility. And today we have our M Forgery. We'll talk about it in a minute, but before, I'd like to ask you please to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to the channel so we may continue to bring you the content that you guys really like. So today we're doing a test fire on our legal non-NFA M Forgery. A lot of people have the M4 pattern rifles with a 16-inch barrel. Well, this one here was a 14 and a half inch barrel. Now, after Marty went ahead and installed the longer AR Stoner uh, flash hider from uh, Midway USA, um, it is, they make different brands. Depends if you want to have a really good, effective comp, this battle comp. If you want the same thing, but want to pay more money, there's other brands that will sell you the same product for twice the money. Um, at Midway, I think I paid 15 bucks for it. Um, and then Marty installed it by, first thing we used a crush washer, then he drilled, put a solid steel pin in, and then welded on it. This is permanently attached and it's over 16 inches long, so it's legal. And if everything else is, this is an old uh, DPMS um, lower, complete lower, this is, the, the upper is from Luthayar. They sell these uppers complete, ready to go. And I put an aim point on it. We are not gonna shoot, do a real test today because we're in indoor range. We have what, 10 yards? That is not the, a, a real good test. So we're gonna go outside and take it and shoot some accuracy with it. Today we're just gonna function fire it, make sure, make sure the carbine works. So I got some military ammo, got a couple of rounds in here. Let's go ahead and do it. I'm going to open the caps just to have the ability to look through it, but here you go. Safety off, and let's try it. Other than the fact that we have stuff falling from the ceiling because of how effective this muscle break is, um, I can tell you, it feels really good. It works great. Um, we need to take it to the range. We need to sight it in with this aim point and take it from there. I think we have a really, really cool compact carbine. Uh, we left it all USGI. We put the old style M4 handguards. I know that some of you are gonna tell me, oh, the Force Recon Rangers from SEAL Team Delta don't use those handguards. Okay. Every photo I've seen online has a quad rail on it. I hate quad rails. There, I said it. There is no way in hell that I'm gonna be using a quad rail because I completely hate them. I hated them back in the year 2000 when they were cool and I hate them today. So I'm not gonna start putting stuff I hate on a rifle. These are kind of big. Um, I have a set of ergo grip, uh, ergo grip uh, handguards there's some place in a shed outside of my house, but it's 115 degrees outside. There's no way I'm going out to just find a pair of handguards in that wet kind of weather. So when it cools down, I'll go dig them out and I'll put them in and then we'll do another video and show you that. And by the way, those things are um, not M-Lock, but um, key mod. And I know they're, that's not what the Force Recon Rangers from SEAL Team Delta use. They have to use uh, M-Lock, but a key mod, if it works to put shelves up at Costco, they're strong enough to hang a flashlight on. So, like always, guys, I'd like to thank you for watching, and remember, stay healthy, be safe, and have fun at the range. Thank you for watching Gunstock Reviews. Please visit our website at www.gunstockreviews.com for more exclusive content. Please visit our patron page at www.patron.com slash gunstockreviews. Your contributions would be greatly appreciated and help us grow our selections and frequency of videos.